What's poppin' everybody? This is Ray Rollins from the Ray Rollins Network, and I'm joined by Alex Payne as we continue the journey of the 31 Days of Halloween Cartoons Marathon. To be honest, I'm surprised we made it this far past all them horrible-ass Simpsons reviews and shows we were doing. Well, the re- reviews were right, but the shows, oh my lord. But <laughs> We were prepping ourselves. No, I mean, I guess, I guess, but still, like, they they were all right. I'm just sad to see, like, how my views have definitely changed on my childhood favorite cartoon, which was The Simpsons. The fucking trash. But we're not talking about The Simpsons today. We are talking about <laughs> South Park, uh, season 10, episode 11, the Halloween episode of South Park, and it's called Hell on Earth, 2006. Now, since Alex doesn't want to give the episode breakdown, I guess I'm gonna this have to do it. Doesn't des- this filth doesn't deserve me describing it. Well, you, come on, it's not like you're that great yourself, you know. But this episode is basically about Satan coming on to coming on the planet Earth and bringing all his hellish minions on the Earth with him, and he wants to host the coolest Halloween party that the world has ever seen. Hell, this dude, this dude was even debating on dessert. He wanted to do a chocolate fountain. Um, I want to say something with a giant ass cake, but uh, apparently P Diddy did all that shit before he did. So you want to do something different? He wants to be remembered as, oh man, this party was dope as hell, man. Satan threw a bombing ass party, yo. So what he does is he wants to get a Ferrari style cake, and everyone gets a piece. You know, that's that's exactly how he said it. But he wants to throw this big, gigantic Halloween party and whatnot. Um, that's the main plot of this episode. And I guess you could say a little side plot is you got the kids and everybody like Eric Cartman, Kyle, Kenny, Butters, and all them. They keep repeatedly summoning Biggie Smalls to see if the whole ghost, uh, the whole ghost thing is is like real. You know, you go in the mirror and you say Biggie Smalls three times, you'll eventually pop up. Just like Bloody Mary, and I want to say there's another uh, myth out there that that does that shit. But anyway, I think it's Sandman. That's basically... I want to say. No, I I think Sandman comes if like you're a kid and you stay up too long. Sandman, Sandman's not a monster, is he? I don't know. Sometimes it depends, but I, I think Candyman. <laughs> what? I think it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Candyman, Candyman. That's exactly how the fuck did I not know that? Um. Anyway. First impressions. Let's go, Alex. I want to hear. <laughs> I already know where. Actually, you know what? Nah, you know you what? Go I was going to go first, but okay, you okay, okay. First. Um, to be honest, I wanted to do the South Park episode where uh Kenny had pink eye and basically caused the whole zombie outbreak in South Park. Um, but I looked on the list and I forgot all about this episode. Now, once again, with The Simpsons. I remember that this was an episode of South Park that I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed this episode as a kid, as an eight, nine-year-old kid. I somewhat enjoy this episode. But now, it's a... shit, I don't know. I'm still formulating my thoughts on it, to be honest with you. If you're looking at something with a uh, critical aspect, and I'm not saying my shit's that critical. I mean, hell, practically every review I've done here, uh, I gave a 7.5 for the most part, apparently. <laughs> But um, I'm, not, I, I'm a little bit easy with my shit. Like, if you have a good story and it's funny, it has a good beginning, middle, and ending, then, you know, you got me one over. So I'm I'm going a, I'm to a keep formulating my thoughts. I almost got an opinion formed on this. Mr. Alex Payne, what are your first impressions? Let's let's get it. I know you want to tear this apart. I don't need uh, first impressions. My first impression was well. Tell them, tell them how you were. Tell them how you were planning on going into this. How your feelings on reviewing the episode of South Park was before when we were getting the whole list planned out and everything. Well, my initial opinion of South Park from you know seeing one or two episodes a long time ago and just what it is in general and how other people talk about it. I hate the shit based off of what it is. <laughs> like I. Would no. The only reason I watched this episode in a million years is because we 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 were gonna review it, right? And my uh, I guess my first impression was, how did I get myself into this mess? That was my first impression. <laughs> but if you want like me I... to just listen, you know, I'm I'm just gonna break the. Fo- I'm I'm just gonna 
skip to my th- review of it. This was what this, you don't you don't want you don't want to do the moments first. <laughs> this was literally the worst thing I ever saw in my life. Like <laughs> I it, listen, I swear to God. No exaggeration. My stomach started to hurt like halfway through it because I was cringing so much in my soul. Really? And that's not even an exaggeration. Like, I felt physical pain in my lower stomach. Like, I, this was, I finally understand, because, you know, I've never been one of those people, you know, because you hear our critics, you know, be so angry at or hate something with a deep passion in their soul. And I never really understood it. And now I finally get, you know, how... You could hate something or at least dislike something to the point where it's sick and shit. Listen, I have I have issues with depression and this episode left me so drained I legit wanted to kill myself afterwards. Like <laughs> That's this, fucked up, man. Like you like you don't know the uh, the war I had to go to to not turn this episode off. Because I I was <laughs> I was legit gonna turn it off. Cause that you know, even if I didn't watch the entire thing, that could talk to its quality because you know if I felt the need to turn it off, then right. that speaks to its quality on its own. So even if I did, it still would have. But I figured, you know, I'm just going to, you know, going to push through and continue. This was like legit the worst thing I ever saw in my life. I legit wanted to die. This is this is cat vomit on top of horse shit on a frog that's been dead for three weeks. This is horrible. I know. Okay, like. I would rather since, die than watch another episode, legit. Since since this was so cringe, I wanna I wanna see like what what really like what's what, some of the top moments that really made your stomach turn like because I honestly I'm not saying it's the best thing in the world, but I I wouldn't go and say it's the worst thing I've ever seen. I seen some mm-hmm. worse shit than this. I honestly no, have nothing. I nothing. Listen, the love guru was a million times better than this. I don't Friggin, know what the fuck that is. Okay. It's it's a it's a it's a movie that a lot of people consider very bad, which I think it's alright. But anyway, like this thing, I don't. Know. What I'm saying, this, this, and that's the thing. There was nothing that necessarily like, cause there wasn't. I I thank Jesus if there was anything like truly cringy in this, I probably would have killed myself. But like, I know there's a lot of moments in other episodes that. Could, could be a lot worse. I just think overall this was just so terrible. It wasn't even like like, like terrible in the way that like this moment was so easy. It was just like it was so boring, terrible. Nothing was entertaining. They tried so hard. Every joke was terrible. Everything about it was just awful. And I just know mm. it was a legit. It was a legit mentally draining task for me to get through the entire episode. Man, I give it a okay. zero out of ten. <laughs> I legit That's... zero. I give it a zero. Goose egg. And that is my full opinion on the episode. I have nothing more to say. So you can you go to your watch, moments. You, you didn't watch the episode. I, I watched the episode. Watch... You could quiz me. You did not, I watched the episode. You, you, did not, you did not watch the I don't. I don't care. Okay. I don't care. No, I did watch the episode. They summoned Biggie, and he was shooting around the room trying to shoot them. They did that three times because the, <laughs> the one kid did it the first time, and the three kids did it the second time, and the growing man did it the third time. Satan wanted to... Um, they brought uh, they brought the friggin'... I was, honestly, if I was saying anything was re- super cringy to me, was the friggin' how he was trying to make... I think it was Jeffrey Dahmer, Tad Bundy, and someone else. Yeah, yeah, the Three Stooges. They was, yeah, they was doing the Three Stooges. I fucking hated that. I hated it because, and, and like, I say the first little bit with them was kind of like, ah, uh-huh, okay, I see what they're doing, Three Stooges, but they wanted to keep doing it. It's like, yo, these dudes are serial killers. I want to see these motherfuckers go on a rampage. That's just me. But anyway. And the friggin', I, like, the animation has always been terrible to me. I mean, that's something you could get past. Oh, yeah, it, it always but, has. You're, you're but, 100% right about and, that. It's, and I guess for it, some people, that's a part of the charm, but, like, yeah. So, But, yeah, I did watch the episode. I'm not just, you know, digging on it. No, like, no, I, I I do believe you, <laughs> but it's like, man, oh my I don't gosh, see. Man. I, was, I, oh. I really don't understand why you don't like it that much. Like, I mean, I get why you probably wouldn't like the episode, but... Man, to say that this is the worst episode out there, 
or, or the series is bad itself in general, it's just like, wow. Listen, anything that could make this, even if it made one of the greatest episodes of all time, it still would be duty. Because this What was don't mad. you, what, you said, like, it's just cringy, that's what you don't like about it? Well, Fuck my review, I want to hear what you got to say about this. I really not, do. Cringy was the wrong word, but I, what, what it was for me, it was just, because it, nothing made me go, oh, that was, ter-, like, like, you know, no really bad jokes. That in terms of like, you know, because, you know, like they'll be like, oh, I farted in this person's mouth. And you're just like, mm, that was terrible. It was just like, it was terrible in how ungodly, boring, mediocre, and just awful the writing and everything about it was. Okay. So, I will I will say one thing about it, though. Like, the, I, the Biggie Smalls moment kind of had me, like, chucking a little bit. Like, it, it, I wasn't like balling my guts out laughing i was like ah cool there's some of them that's that's kind of cool um and then the whole thing with butter's parents uh basically uh butter's dad actually he's talking about uh butter's watching too much uh black uh, entertainment uh tv bt and shit and that's why he keeps thinking about like biggie smalls trying to come and kill him and whatnot da 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 woo, woo, woo. but i will say one thing that has me somewhat disappointed is like the ending the ending it felt it felt very uh i suppose cliche would be the word like it's just like oh yeah satan realizes he's being a dick he's being what do you say uh um uh a 16 year old rich teenage girl in america that's and what even, he said basically and just, even that was so like because this wasn't no deep metaphorical like they no. made it from the beginning this is a parody of how 16 year olds have their parties Right. It's like it's not like the end was some profound like if he was having the attitude and never mentioned the whole idea of a sixteen year old birthday party or some shit. I mean I still it still would have been terrible. But Of course. But at least I would have gave it like some, you know, surprise or some oh, okay, so that's what this was about. This was a commentary on, you know, the greed of um t- rich teenagers. It's like, no, nah, this was because everything cause his his desire for shit wasn't funny or none of that shit. None of that, like, his, why was his speech at the beginning when he was telling everybody about it, like, what, 10 minutes? Right. Yeah, like how, just, how he oh. wants them to dress and all that shit. So, I mean, overall, I guess you could say it had, it had like, poor setup. I, I will admit to that. But, like, I, I don't see myself, like, actually dogging the episode out like you were. Was it cringy? Of course, it had its moments. But like actually knowing the characters, I think it kind of it kind of played it kind of played to them a little bit. Like the only thing I really cringed see, had me cringe thing, was though. what you say that. But there's no character in this. The only thing was, oh, you're scared to say it in the mirror, and that's it. And then him just, okay, I'm gonna carry you to the place. Don't shoot me. That's what the, the that, that was their characters in this episode. I don't even know the series, but there was. And, but there was no distinctness to anyone's character. No one showed any form of character in this episode. At least none of the main cast, I should right, say. Right, right, right. Because they were just like, he's going to shoot me. I'm taking him here. That's the. That's pretty much like they didn't show no... They didn't say any specific jokes to them. They didn't and and say the, thing, the one shit. moment I was going to reference was Cartman basically shitting on himself when he was gonna, about to summon him. And then the door just busted open and Craig came. Was that Craig or Clyde? I, I forget which one. But anyway, Carmen Bass is like, oh, look, guys, check it out. I shit my pants. Like, that sounds like a car, uh, a thing I could hear Carmen saying. But that's actually, that's besides that, thing. you're that's right. You're thing. right. Yeah. yeah. And that's what the m- one thing I was going to reference. That's it. Like, Satan doesn't even seem like how Satan should be portrayed in this episode. Like, if Satan doesn't get what he wants, he should be fucking shit up. Honestly, that's that's the, my main gripe with this. I expected to see some some crazy shit happen. I thought I wanted to see Satan fuck some shit up, but um, I you know we just broke I broke down the episode. I gave my review basically. I'm gonna give it I'll give it a nice five out of ten. Five out of ten. I'm I wouldn't say it's, it's not. I legit wanted I mean, to cry. Yeah, but I think I think people who rate shit at a zero is just like I don't know. They're, no, they they really fucking hate this shit. 
<laughs> but it's just it's it's interesting. I, like I think something. I think a zero is you know there for those rare things that are truly god awful, and I think that this fits that category. In my humble opinion. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and in your opinion, your opinion. Like I'm sure a lot of people love this episode, and a lot of people love the series in general. But you know, hey, like everybody, everybody has different tastes. They really do. Everybody has different tastes. I used to be a big fan of South Park, not not much anymore, but I kind of do want to get back into it because I do miss the characters. Honestly, I do want to get back into it. I want to keep checking it out and whatnot. Um, because I I do I used to like South Park. I want to see if I like it again. But you give it a zero out of ten. I'll give it a nice five out of ten. I mean, it's in the middle road to me. It's not great. Nowhere near great. Um, honestly, it's probably worse than great. But you know. I, I'm like being the fair guy. Like you put some effort in, I'm I'll give you a nice five out of ten. <laughs> I mean I get. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm giving them that just because of the animation scene. They showed up and did work. So, but Ray Rollins gives it a five out of ten. Alex Payne gives it a zero out of ten. With all that being said, my name is Ray Rollins. His is Alex Payne. This has been our South Park review of season ten, episode eleven. Hell on Earth, 2006. Um, I honestly wish it went better than this, but hey, what you gonna do, man? We're just gonna continue this 31 Days of Halloween Cartoons Marathon till we get to October 31st. October. October 31st. <laughs> October. <laughs> we will see ya when we see ya. Peace.